Imagine if you have a text source file with abbreviations and longer text, which you can use in any application. For example, we have this ICD-10 abbreviations used by uh, doctors, and it can replace the shortcut with the actual longer term. Or you can browse for the desired phrase. We will now show you how to import such files for use in PhraseExpress. On the desktop, we have the source file. And now I open the PhraseExpress main program window with a right click. And to import the source file, simply drag it into the PhraseExpress tree view of your phrases. Then you have several options. And here we want to import the source file line by line. PressExpress opens an import wizard and makes a first guess about the source file structure. Let's open the source file, right click, and we can see multiple lines and each line contains text which is separated with a semicolon. And if you look at the wizard, PressExpress analyzed the source file correctly. So the row delimiter is an enter and the column delimiter is a semicolon. What PhraseExpress can do for you is to associate the columns with the respective phrase contents. So you would need to tell PhraseExpress that the first column, which contains this, you can see a preview here, this contains the order text. And you can select it by simply clicking on it. And here you have the selection and it's okay, this is a text. By the way, if you only have two columns and if you need a description for the phrase, PhraseExpress automatically derives the description for a phrase from the phrase contents. So this setting is fine. And if you press OK, PhraseExpress will populate the database with the phrases of the source file line by line. Let's take an example. And here you can see the phrase content and the order text abbreviation has been populated with the first column of the source file. By default, the PhraseExpress uses the default delimiter as an order text confirmation. So in this specific example, you would need to type in C00.0 followed by a default limiter like space or a punctuation mark. You can now either change it for each phrase uh, individually. So you select the desired phrase on the left and then you can make a selection for this order text. But we'll leave for this uh, thousands of phrases. You may rather want to uh, change all order text um, options in one go. You can do that by selecting the parent folder and then make the desired selection. For example, you could switch to manual confirmation. PressExpress prompts you whether you wish to apply this setting to all uh, children, including subfolders. And if you confirm this, this auto text setting will be applied to all phrases contained in this parent folder. That's it.